Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to display only the end level on a line chart in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So let me show you the data model first. So here is the data model, date dimension table, and here you can see sales data. Okay. Now, as you can see here, from date dimension, I'm using a date column and from the sales data, I'm using a sales date column and the relationship between the date dimension table and sales data table is one to many. Now let me go back to the report page and let me explain. As you can see this is the line chart is a cumulative or running total line chart. So cumulative by month line chart and I don't want to display a data level at each point. I want to display a data level at the end of the line. Okay. So how to do this? Uh, let me go to the new report page and here I will add a one visual line chart visual and let me increase the height of the visual and from the date dimension table I will add a month and year and I will say month and year. And from the sales data table, I will add a order quantity running total on Y axis. If you don't know how to calculate a running total, so you can watch my video and you will find the link in the description box running total. If I will go here and if I will enable a data level, so as you can see the data, let me increase the size of the data level. So so as you can see here the data level is on each point okay and let me make it category wise each point okay each point but i don't want the data level at each point i want a data level at last end of the line to do this i will write a new measure here new measure sorry not quick measure I will say new major and here I will expand the major and here I will give the name of the major end point okay. and I will come to next line and let me increase that and here I will declare a one variable that is a max date equal to calculate max of date dimension date dimension date comma all selected date dimension table bracket close now I will come to the next line and I will select one more. I will declare one more variable where. So I will say uh, last value equal to if max of date dimension date equal to max date okay. comma I will come to the next and I will here I will use a order quantity running total okay. now I will close the bracket come down and here I will say return last value The first point in the first line what I am doing actually I am saying that the find out the max date ignore all the filter in the date dimension find out the max date from the date dimension table and in the second line what I am trying to do if the max date if it will be the max of date dimension equal to max of date which I have captured here so then enable execute this uh, major and at the end return this now let me accept this formula 
and what I'm going to do now, I will here on Y axis for this visual, I will add a in point. Okay. Now I will go back again on the this one data level and here what I'm going to do, I will disable the order quantity running total and only keep end point enable. So as you can see the 78K at the end point. That's all for this video and I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.